Okay, we start the 2-3 lesson, and we're going to start talking about triangle relationships and special lines and angles that happen in triangles. Our first is the altitude. And an altitude is a segment from the vertex perpendicular to the opposite side of a triangle. It can be inside the triangle, outside the triangle, or on our triangle. And I have some pictures. And you can see that the red lines, here's one where it's inside. My triangle continues out that way, got cut off. Here's one where it is outside. Typically, we see that as a dashed line. In this right triangle, the altitude, two of them, happen to be on the triangle. Every triangle has three altitudes. One of the things that's unique, though, about altitudes is it tells us nothing about the angles or the segments. We don't know if the angle is bisected, if the segment is cut in half. We don't know any of that. All we get from altitude is right angle. Now our next term is the median. In a median, just like when you're driving, it's in the middle of the road, it's a segment which joins the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. There are also three medians in every triangle, and you can see the different midpoints of X, Y, and Z of triangle ABC. When you're looking at a median, you know the side is at the midpoint, so you know you get equal segments, but you do not know anything about that vertex angle. You don't know if it's bisected, if it's cut in thirds, you know nothing. Okay, so don't assume anything. Now additionally, and you need to add these notes, they got cut off, a special point happens when you look at the medians, and that's called the centroid, and it's the point where all three medians intersect. So in our picture, the centroid is P. Now the centroid has a really interesting property, and that is called the centroid theorem. And it says the vertex to the centroid is equal to the two-thirds of the entire median. Okay. So that lets us set up some examples. If you look back at our picture, the length of B to P B to P is going to be two-thirds the length of the whole median. As a sidebar, that means that from the centroid to the midpoint is one-third the length of the whole thing. And so you can set up all of the relationships that AP is equal to two-thirds of AY and CP is equal to two-thirds of CX. So in looking at an example of this theorem, if I give you triangle BCA with centroid Q and I give you BE is 9 and I ask you to find BQ and QE which are highlighted what I can set up when in doubt write down what you know so I know that from the vertex to the centroid so that BQ is equal to two-thirds the length of the entire segment. Do I know BQ or BE? I know BE, so I'm going to substitute that in. I'm going to say BQ is equal to 2 thirds times 9. Now a little algebra on the side. Whole numbers are always over 1. I can cancel. 3 goes into 9 3 times. I'm left with 2 times 3. BQ is 6. If the whole thing is 9, then QE is equal to BE minus BQ, fill in what you know, 9 minus 6, QE is 3. A couple other special segments, oops, examples here. First example, if SB is the median, find SC if SA equals 6. Well, SA is 6. If this is a median, that means these are the same. So very simply, SC is 6. 
in our next example, if VI is the median and VW, the whole thing, is 3x minus 4, remember these are congruent, and this segment is x plus 1, how can I find x? Much the same as our angle bisector problems from an earlier section, I know that 2 times the half, the little piece, will be equal to the entire thing. Distributive property, don't forget to take the 2 times 1, subtract 2x, add 4, and we find out that x is 6. Quick review. Remember, an angle bisector cuts the vertex angle in half, but we know nothing about the segment opposite. We know nothing about the relationship of AX and XC in this picture. So you have to be sure what your terms are telling you. Oops. I might work here twice for that. All right, perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector is perpendicular to the side and it bisects the side. As the name implies, but notice from these pictures, we know nothing about what happens at the angle. It may or may not bisect the angle. We just know it has to be perpendicular and bisect that side. Now let's do a quick identification of what these are. In the first picture, AD is perpendicular and that is all we know, so that makes this an altitude. In my next picture, I know perpendicular, but I also know bisected, and so this is a perpendicular bisector. In the next example, all I appear to know and that I'm given is that the side is cut in half. And so this is a median. And this last one, all I am given is that the angle is cut in half, and so this one is an angle bisector. It's important to learn those definitions. Those are words that will show up on tests and quizzes, and you are responsible for knowing what they are. So, a mid-segment. A mid-segment is a segment joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of a triangle. So it connects the midpoints. It has two unique properties, and that is that, number one, it's parallel to the third side. So in our example, AB is parallel to XY, as you see marked, and the mid-segment is one-half the length of the third side. So if AB is 10, XY is 20. So some examples with mid-segments. If BC is 6, and it is obviously at the mid-segment, then that means that PQ is half of 6, or 3. Pretty simple. If, in this case, 2N, sorry, N plus 14 is my mid-segment length, and 3N plus 12 is my third side length, I set up the equation that twice the mid-segment is equal to the big segment. Distributive property, 2n plus 28 equals 3n plus 12. Subtract 2n from both sides. Subtract 12 from both sides. n is 16. One more theorem. And this is the exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. And this is exactly what it, it sounds. Exterior is outside the triangle. Here's my triangle. This angle would not be remote. It would not be far away from the exterior angle. So we are after this angle and this angle as the remote interior. And they end up being equal. And as you can see, 70 plus 50 is 120. So in looking at an example,
We'll just get this off here and redo it for us. We are going to do this in two separate ways because I always want to use my given values instead of calculated values. So those two make a linear pair. So y plus 92 equals 180, which means that y is 88. And then I'm going to start over and I'm going to use the remote exterior and that connects 92 with 50 and x. And what it says is that 50 plus x has to equal 92. The sum of the remote interior is equal to the exterior. And so x is 42 degrees. Our last example is we have a similar, we have an exterior angle and we have two remote interior angles. So we set up the interior angles equal to the exterior angles. Combine like terms, 40 plus x equals 3x minus 12. Subtract x from both sides. Add 10 to both sides. Divide by 2. And x is 25. That is the entire 2-3 lesson. Good luck on your homework.